Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. A little different because it's a pre-recorded video, so if you find something you like in this sale today, it's already listed and ready to go. And today's bags are going to be all 1950s vintage pieces. <clears throat> My name's Kim, I'm Purse Trippin, and I resell handbags and wallets. So this first bag is a beauty. It's a wicker and tapestry, and the wicker is covered in a resin, so it's much less likely to break. Um, it is from the 50s and is in beautiful, beautiful condition. It's got the metal twist. It's kind of like a twist uh, indent in the metal, I'd say, in a gold tone color. It has a bullet clasp to open up. The inside is beautiful. Uh, this one is by Guild Creations. Okay, so there's the inner compartment. The measurements on this little beauty is 13 by 8 by 5 and a quarter. And the strap drop on it is, or I should say the handle drop on it is 5 inches. So if you're interested, this is gonna be bag number one. All of my items are listed below in the description box along with how to pay. I accept PayPal only. All sale items are final. There's no exchanges, no returns. And I ship only within the US. So this, you guys, is going to be bag number one in the description box. Okay, number two is this 1950s, similar to the one I just showed you, but this one has a cream leather trim with a really beautiful yellow rose tapestry. Minimal wear, and remember these bags for the condition are amazing since they are from the 1950s. Um, this one is gonna measure 12 and a half by 10 and a half by three. And the strap drop on this is six and a half inches. And I can put this on my shoulder as a tote. And you guys have seen me lots of times so you will know what size I am, but I don't have a problem if I wanted to wear it like a tote. All of the trim is leather, genuine leather. Corners look good considering its age. It's in beautiful condition. Then it's got the little gold tone clasp on the top, and this is a framed handbag. The interior is all leather. There's a little piece of leather missing right here, and unfortunately that's where the price tag was, and when I took it off, it peeled a little bit of the leather off. But you do have two pockets, one being a zipper, one being a slip. And then over here, you also have a slip pocket as well. Okay, um, the interior looks great, it's just a little dusty. And as for a name, I do not see a name on this little beauty, but she's gorgeous and will be listed as bag number two. See up close, it's just beautiful. Okay, and then I should show you up a little bit closer of this little beauty too. Let me show you the tapestry up close. You can see all the vibrant colors and the flowers. It's beautiful. Now the tapestry on this one is just in the front. And then you have the resin cover covered wicker around the back and the sides. All right, number three is an all leather. This one is super, super rare. It's an all brown genuine leather and this is the kind if you're like a 50s vintage boho kind of girl i think you will really love this it scratches easily um it patinas it is absolutely gorgeous this is just where another bag was laying on it so that will definitely come out in time this one measures 12 by 9 by four and a half so 12 9 four and a half and I love the compartments on this one. You have two open compartments and then the center 
compartment that is framed and a little gold tone clasp. The interior on this one is suede. Very pretty and no staining at all. You're gonna have a zipper pocket right here, another slip pocket here, and it's super, super soft. Will hold a ton for sure. And I'm just, this is probably my favorite one. Um, the stories this bag tails is amazing. So there's definitely wear around the edges. Now, if you don't care for the wear on the edges, there is um, um, leather conditioner you can even get that has a tint to it. I personally would keep it this way just because it's so beautiful. So this one again is 12 by nine by four and a half and then the double straps have a six inch drop. So such a beauty of a little handbag and it is 1950s. All genuine leather, okay? Then we have this one. This is actually, I believe this to be the 70s, not the 50s. Now, I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking this one is the 70s. Um, this is definitely tapestry, and it's beautiful. It does have one little mark here, but that can totally be touched up. And this is a definite larger one. This is 16 by 9, 16 by 9 by 5. Such cute colors. Absolutely can be worn as a tote mega space in this guy there is signs of wear uh let's see just i mean basic wear you guys can see that there's no holes or rips or tears or anything um there is this mark right here so i will price it accordingly uh there's no cracking on the handles no cracking at on here at all and then this one too is a clasp that opens up nice and wide it's got the inner zipper, and then just this main huge compartment. I'm really loving this one. And there are little pegs on the bottom that would be considered feet. And the colors are just beautiful. So this is the multicolor tapestry tote, and this is item number four. Okay. And then last but not least, I have my brown Genuine Lizard 1950s handbag. This one measures 12 by seven and a half by five and a half. Real Lizard leather. And these I have priced at up to $450 depending on the uh, resale site that I found them on. So I will price this one accordingly as well, but it's beautiful. This one is a really rare find. Clasp closure. And then there's no name on this one either. There's a little bit of a tear right here. That's a slip pocket. And then that's your little zipper pocket. It works fine. And then the interior. Okay, so let's show you the corners. Okay, so that's going to be my, all the 1950s bags that I have in my collection and they're all available now. So please check the description box below. We have some definite beauties for you guys. Hopefully you find something you love. If not, comment, let me know what you really love most era-wise. And yeah, I just I like to hear from you guys. So I will talk to you shortly. Bye, everybody.